What is going on guys? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 17th Angular 2 tutorial in which we'll be going off with the routing stuff of the cart page of our web application. So, so far what we have is that if you click on any one of the items, it just adds it adds itself to the cart. But eventually I want to have a different page, a separate page for cart. So we have route config to our rescue so what i'm gonna do is first of all let's just add a simple route config which just says path is cart right then i want that when path is cart i want the controller or the component actually for angular 2 to be uh, cart component which we'll create in a minute and the third one is name as let's just say my first card and you could actually just omit those quotes around the card name and uh, yeah so for now what we need inside index.html is to just get rid of this card right here and we have a bunch of stuff to do so let's just create a new file here let's just call it component.card.ts then I'm just gonna copy and paste some sort of code I'm going a little bit quick so you can just pause the video if you just go out of the frequency so inside the card.ts I don't want any selector no template URL and no style so I just want a template which is a multi-line comment string actually and I just want to export class cart component that's it so the next thing I need to do is I need to add you know even if the vis user visits this cart what happens is that the very first page which should be executed is this component.index.ts only. So we need to somehow tell that whenever this card is found, you have to load this card component. But where? To tell that, we'll make use of the route or router outlet. And we'll close this as well. And right here, the final thing we need to do is add a directive because obviously we don't know what this directive is so this directive is router directives and this comes from this file all right now looks like there's some sort of card component all right so i, I guess i have included the file so i'm gonna say import card component from and this is component dot cart, right? The cart with the name my first cart does not begin with uppercase letter. Okay, so all right, <laughs> here we go. All right, so now we have this page, but we have actually nothing to go to that card page so I'm gonna eventually type out card and down here you can see that we got card but this is kinda awkward because obviously you don't want this thing right here to be displayed and in a minute I'm gonna show you how to get rid of that and first of all before even doing that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say somehow I want to have a link on this page to redirect automatically the user on this page on clicking the link but this is not as simple as typing ahref then card because if I do like uh, my card now since this is not an actual redirect but we are just kind of fooling the client side because Obviously the card if you do an actual redirect this will actually request a card page from the server But we don't have any card page from the server because we are doing all of the routing on the front page So we may need to make use of some sort of angular stuff here 
and that is the router link and I guess I spelled it right and inside here what I want is an array again with the first element being the name of the route config inside which you have placed now we need this array I don't know why but there's a reason because you can have a multiple component list here for some sort of backup file or something I'll just check out the documentation and let you know but I know there's some sort of things here so now we have if I go to the home page again we have this my card and if I click on this you can see down here this automatically appears now this looks awkward and this looks you know vague because obviously this kind of looks like if I am having a drop down or something like for example now I don't have a card for now I don't have a card you can see and if I click it it magically appears like you will say that I can actually do that with a simple JavaScript or jQuery code as well but actually this is also not working because we have not actually added this thing right here into the component place so what's the fix for this is that actually what happens is that this page right here the index.ts is the first file to be executed and uh, this is the master file of your application so again what we can do instead of just displaying this stuff right here in the master file we can just split this thing into a separate module as well a separate component you can say and then we can load that particular component inside the route out router outlet which will place in the template here so this tutorial was just to show you how to do a simple um, URL routing and you can actually inside this component card what you can do is you can just say hello <laughs> a big hello <laughs> so that it just you just can see that this is some sort of routing going on here so I guess that hello was a big one <laughs> so I guess I have some internet problem right now so that's why it's not loading yeah okay so we have a hello right there and no hello right there so you see that the routing is working so the aim for this tutorial was to prepare you guys for the next tutorial which would allow us to split our this component which we have kind of hard coded into the main application into a separate file and then from then onwards will have we'll ha not have to worry about the main file at all so we'll just manage our components well that would make a life a hell lot easier and if you're not understanding what i'm trying to say then don't worry because in the next tutorial all of that would make sense so make sure you watch the next tutorial if you have made it to this point because the next one would be an important one so if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching